This is lesson 6.6, .6, the last lesson of chapter 6 in pre-algebra, and this one's called Interest. Anybody who has borrowed money or put money in investments um, has an idea of what interest is. Interest is either the money you make off money that um, you invest, or it's the money the bank takes from you for um, them loaning you the money. So if you buy a car and there's an interest rate on there, there is a percentage of uh, the money that the bank loans you that they're going to charge you because they loaned it to you. So let's say they say, okay, yeah, we'll give you $10,000, but in order for us to give you $10,000, you're not only going to have to pay that $10,000 back to us, but because of our trouble, we want you to pay us $500 for... Um, taken advantage of that ten thousand so we want the ten thousand dollars back but we also want to make some money off of that so we're going to charge you another five hundred on top of that so you've just paid them ten thousand five hundred dollars for the privilege of being able to use ten thousand dollars of their money the same way it is with a bank a bank um, you may put ten thousand dollars in their bank and they're going to say yeah because you put ten thousand dollars in our bank we're going to reward you by giving you a dollar so instead of um, just putting ten thousand dollars in there for a year, they're going to give you. You're going to have that ten thousand available. Plus, they're going to give you another dollar because they're so happy that you put ten thousand dollars in in their bank. So that's what interest is. Interest is the amount of money that was earned because of the principal or the main amount of money, like the ten thousand dollars that was either put in a bank or invested. The interest rate is that amount of money that you make as interest put into a percentage. And uh, we've already done that before. So let's go right away to some examples here. Let's look at example one. It says in 1999, the average interest rate for a six-month CD was 6%. Ah, oh, those were the good old days. A man invested $2,000. So this is the principal. That's how much money he put into a CD, a certificate of deposit. How much money was in his account at the end of one year? So in order to do this, we're going to take the $2,000 that he had, and we're going to find out what 6% of that $2,000 is. So 0 0.06 times 2,000. That gives me $120. So at the end of the year, um, for putting $2,000 in that CD, they gave him a reward of $120 for his investment. So the question says, how much money was in his account at the end of a year? It wasn't this amount. He has this amount here plus this amount that he made in interest. So he has $2,120 in his account at the end of one year. Example two is very similar. A bank or a farmer borrows eight thousand dollars from a bank, and the bank is charging five percent interest. How much does he pay to the bank at the end of the year? Well, we know he's going to pay the eight thousand back, but he's also going to pay five percent of that eight thousand dollars in addition to that. So we're going to find 5% of the 8,000 and then add that to the 8,000 to find out how much he actually has. So 5%, which is 0 0.05 times 8,000 equals $400. So at the end of the year, he's paying that $400 plus the $8,000 that he borrowed. So he's paying the bank back $8,400 for them to allow him to borrow $8,000 from him. Now this is simple interest, um, and that's where we come up with a formula for simple interest that looks like this. And let me tell you what each one of these letters mean. This is the amount of dollars, um, this is the interest, this is the money. So for this one up here, the interest that he had to pay on that $8,000 was $400. So if you're setting a problem up, you would put $400 there if they give it to you. That's the interest. The P is the principal. That's how much money was invested or how much money was borrowed. In this case, it was $8,000. That was the principal. That's how much money he wanted or he had. 
The rate here is the percentage. That would be this number here. In a percentage, it would be 5, and, in the, and as a decimal, it would be 0.05, and that's what that is. In T is how much time in years um, we're looking at here. In this particular one, um, it says how much does he pay to the bank at the end of the year to pay off the loan. So at the end of one year. Um, so the T in this case is just going to be 1, so it's really not even a part of it. So see what we did in order to get the interest, this dollar here? We took the principal, 8000 8, multiplied it by the rate, which was 0 0.05, multiplied by the time, which is 1, that we didn't even show. So we have 8000 times 0 0.05, and that gave us our 400 that we have right there. So this is a formula that we're going to use here. And, in fact, we'll use it in example three, which is the next problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put the formula up here. And we're just going to fill in the blanks. Student takes out an emergency loan for a tuition, books, and supplies. The loan is for $600. So the principal, the amount we're borrowing, is $600. The interest is... 4%, but notice it doesn't say interest only, it says interest rate, interest rate, and that is going to be 4%, or let's just write it as 0 0.04, because that's the only way we're going to use it is as a decimal. How much interest does the student pay if the loan is paid back in 60 days? So our time is 60 days. Okay, remember when I gave you this, or when I, we talked about this early, I said this is a year. 60 days is not a year, so what I have to do is I have to make 60 days into a year by saying it's 60 out of 360 days. And in banking world, they consider 360 days a year. It's just easier to deal with than the 365. So whenever they give you a number in days for your time. Just put it over 360 and then use it that way. Okay, so we've got all that. And then actually we can take this and reduce it. We can change it to a decimal or we can just write it as 1 over 6. Um, so let's keep going here. We're just going to plug these numbers that we have here into our formula. So interest, we don't know because that's what they're looking for. Principal is 600. Our rate is 0 0.04. And our time is 1 over 6. Multiply all those together, and you get an interest of 4. That means at the end of 60 days, you pay back your $600 that you borrow and another $4 on top of that. But they didn't want to know the total amount. They just wanted to know how much interest you would be responsible to pay back in, in 60 days, and that would be $4.